everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do two surfboards and what I'm going to do on each of them is 3D waves. One of them I'm going to turn into a clock and one of them will just be a wall hanging. I'm going to begin with using sand that I've collected from a beach and I am just going to mix the sand with Elmer's glue all and I use approximately one third glue to two thirds sand. So this glue, we can get the lid off. it with a popsicle stick. These boards have both been gessoed and I've taped the back of them. They also have their little hanging holes and I can't remember where I got these. I didn't get them in Michael's. I think maybe you can get them in Michaels. I got them off a company online and I've had them for so long I can't even remember. And really dig deep into the bottom of the cup because you'll have lots of lots of loose sand. And then if it's not quite sandy enough, although there is still some sand at the bottom. That's why I like to use one of these thick popsicle sticks or a spoon. Then just add, I'm going to add a little bit more sand to this. As you can see, I collected this myself and it's got all these bits and pieces from a beach. Okay, that's done. So, put my mask away to the side because I'm going to resin in a minute. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a filbert brush. I'm going to do the painting. I have um, several blues here. I have, I think this is a phthalo blue, a bright aqua green, a light blue. This is a Payne's gray and um gosh i can't even remember artist loft color i'll leave the links to all these colors below and this is just flow troll i'm not using um any water because i'm going to be doing 3d waves and i'm probably the beach will probably be here and then I'll probably have at least three waves. So I'm going to begin with the dark. Filbert brush, not too big, not too small. I'm going to use my Floetrol as my paint conditioner. It just helps. Let's get this out of the way. It just helps the paint flow. So let's begin with some 
phthalo blue and phthalo blue can be quite transparent as you can see so that's why I thought I'd bring in some Payne's grey to make it darker the deep ocean. I'm just using the one brush and then some, oh I like this colour. Actually this colour is a new colour, I haven't used this in a while. I'm just going to go around the edge. the sand and the paint has dried I put some little embellishments some starfish and some stones and shells and you have to do that when the sand is wet so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some clear resin on at the shoreline and on this one And then I'm going to cover the board and spread that out. And if I was just doing an ocean scene, I would use colored resin, but as most of this board is going to be covered in 3D waves, you will see why that's not necessary on this. So this is Naked Fusion Resin and I want this to drip down the sides. So once I've spread it all around I'm going to take my gloved hand and um, make sure it is nicely covered. That will be at the end. And this resin is, it's really beautiful. It's, the, the finish is crystal clear. It's like glass and it's food safe. So for example, well, one of these is going to be a clock, but say for the other one, you wanted to use it as a serving dish for some cheese and crackers. That would be perfectly safe. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to pop some bubbles.
when you go over with the torch do it quickly you don't want to burn your resin that ends up being a disaster Okay, so in here, I've got, I'm just, is that the top of that? Um, I have some titanium white paint, just a tiny bit. Whenever you mix paint with resin, your ratio shouldn't be more than 10% of your paint to the resin. And then I've poured in some pinata alcohol ink, and that will give the lacing. So I can see a big bubble there. There we go. So for here, this is just going to be the first wave. I'm going to put a nice big line down at the beach. I'm going to go over that till I get the thickness that I want. And then after this, I'm going to use my heat gun to spread it. Followed my, by my torch will which will create the lacing you don't want to use like you don't want it to be too thick but just thick enough so remember this is going to have quite a few layers of resin and you'll get that really great 3D effect. And don't worry about symmetry because waves aren't symmetrical. And I think I'm gonna put some more clear resin in front of that wave to encourage it to bleed onto the beach a little bit more. over the sand and just a little tiny bit more of the white all right Looking good. Okay, so I've got my heat gun. Well, I'm going to turn the volume down while I do this. And I'm going to let it heat up before I zap the wave. Which I'm going to put it on low.
when you use your torch, you can see the lacing really begins to happen. And again, don't don't put your torch too far near. Now, where's my alcohol ink? So the other way to create a little bit more I've got a lollipop stick stuck in my alcohol ink is you can just put this directly on. I like mixing it with paint to give it a little bit more um, effect. I'll bring you down in a sec. And I'm just going to add a touch more of this. And you can tilt it backwards to make it bigger. Get my heat gun again. to just kind of break up that alcohol and create that really special lacing. Okay, I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to actually just torch up here one more time because there's bubbles that need popping. Hey, I'm going to bring you down for some close look and you can see the lacing and then with then when this is dry tomorrow we'll do the second layer of waves and that's when the 3d effects really begin to happen so here you can see some great lacing effects and you'll see when the second layer goes on, that you can see how the wave sits proud of the sand. Let me see if you can see some lacing going on in this wave. And there's some shell details and how the sand looks really great and beachy. All right, so we will come back tomorrow and attack the second layer. Okay, here we go with the second wave. So I'm hoping this lighting is okay. It's a little gloomy. So my camera's a little tall. Anyway, we'll make it work. So now, here I am with my Naked Fusion resin. The first wave's done here. Um, so with Naked Fusion resin, they have from time to time absolutely fabulous um, discounts and check out in the description box below. I'll leave a link. Definitely check out that link because they do wonderful powder pigments as well. So I think my second wave is going to go here. And then I'll do my, yeah, maybe here. Oh, no, maybe here. And then I'll do my third one here. Maybe a little tiny fourth one up here. We'll see. Here we go. 
Let's begin over here in this one. So begin with the clear down here. I'm just going to do the clear. I'm going to add the white in a minute. And what I did with this resin today, because I've got the AC on so high, it's actually quite cold. Um, I sat the resin in a nice warm bath and just the bottles, obviously, not the cups, because you don't want the cups to get any water in them. And then I make this a bit more wavy a bit more movement in the surf there we go that's good um, what that does if your resin's too cold you're not really gonna get um, well it's difficult to mix the hardener's always runnier than the resin, but um, your resin will get lots and lots of bubbles. So if it's slightly warmer, you get less bubbles and um, it's just, it's just, the whole thing's just a lot easier. Okay, do I want a, lot, a little bit more? wave action going on here yes all right i'm just gonna lay that down here and now i can just pull the rest <laughs> stick and just go over the edge a little bit and I put it in a separate little cup um, it kind of will disperse itself sort of activates itself in the resin I'm going to use a little bit of heat but not a lot And you can play around with the pattern of it. When you hit it with the torch, you will get some really nice lacing effects. So now I've got as in my torch. Simple as that. So we will come back tomorrow and do the third wave. And once we've had a look at it, we'll decide if we're going to do a fourth wave. It's time for wave three. And we shall see after this one if I decide to do a fourth wave. So things mixed. It's a little bubbly, but I did heat it up. Um, so I think I'm going to begin wave three here and here. So let's go ahead and place a wave. Oh, that's nice. Liking that. And again, remember, each time you mix your next wave of resin, you need less and less. And the good thing about it is you also have to worry less about bubbles because there's less space to worry about. It 
is now completely finished. This is the one that is going to be the wall hanging. And obviously this is the clock. So what I did was I just drilled a hole for the clock pieces and the clock piece has its own hanging. So um, they are going to be fully cured in 72 hours. Then I will put them on my Etsy store. So don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to check out um, everything in the description box below. So now I'm going to bring you down for a close up and you can really get an idea of the 3D wave effects. And um, let's do that right now. I managed to fix that terrible lighting. So let's go in to see the rolling waves. So I'll try and get a really good angle for you. I'm going to break my shells. Mm -hmm. You can see the ridges. So there's the first wave, the second wave, and the third wave, and the clock two so very very happy with these so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye